Hi everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how to mask a raster in QGIS 3.10. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take a polygon feature, something like this purple blob, and overlay it on a larger raster. And we're going to create a new raster that has valid values only inside the mask, inside the polygon extent. Anything outside the polygon extent is going to be set to no data. And this has a lot of applications. For example, um, it, so briefly, what's the difference between a clip and a mask? If you clip a raster, typically you would discard the pixels that are outside the boundary. They wouldn't be available to you in any kind of subsequent calculations. But if you use a mask, you essentially assign those pixels outside the vector boundary to a no data value so they can still be used in calculations. Um, okay, so let's go right into QGIS here. What we've got is uh, a project looking at Mount Shasta, a volcano in Northern California. We have uh, a DEM that's projected into UTM coordinates, a hill shade. We also have a set of contours we generated. And then what we did in a previous video is we extracted one of those contours. And so now what we'd like to do is use this contour polygon as a mask on the underlying digital elevation model raster. And the reason we want to do this, very briefly, is to estimate the volume of Mount Shasta. How much rock is involved in Mount Shasta above the height of this 1880 meter contour? So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to extract just the DEM within this polygon, and we're going to look use the statistics of that DEM to compute the volume. All right, so let's go uh, straight to the tool we're going to use. We're going to use the uh, grass tool, r.mask.vect. And the reason we're using that is it's quite robust um, in terms of projection issues. So the vector we'll use as our mask is Shasta 1880 contour. Of course, we'll assign our DEM to the target raster and we will just leave the output to temporary for now. We'll hit run. OK, so that finished. And you can see we now have this uh, masked raster. Just to show you that it's a mask and not a clip, I'm going to use the Identify tool here. When I clip within the mask area, we get the elevation values, like 2379 meters. When I clip outside of it, we get no data values. OK, so there's still pixels there. There's just no data. Then when I clip outside the original raster extent, it comes up with nothing. So the raster extent is still the original. It's just a lot of those pixels are no data now. 